Hey guys and gals, Cheers Chick here, coming at you at my favorite time of year, Christmas time. And what more appropriate beer to taste during Christmas time than the Delirium Noel. If you're unfamiliar with the Delirium series, they are produced from a Belgian brewery called Hoig Brewery, and they come out of Malay, Belgium. They were founded in 1906, but have actually been producing beer since 1654 which is a redonkulous amount of time. Today we're going to taste a Belgian strong ale, which are characteristically a little spicier, less hoppy, and packs the punch when it comes to alcohol by volume. This bad boy is 10%, which I'm pretty excited about. So Rape Beer gives it a 96, Beer Advocate an 87, and I think it's about time we rate it ourselves. So let's open it up. The thing I like about uh, the Hoig Brewery is their designs on their bottles. It's pretty badass. They've always got a pink elephant on the front, which actually exists in nature. Not sure if you're aware of that. They're called al albino elephants. That's my favorite part! Mm -hmm. Get some lemon zest, kind of caramelized malt. The color kind of matches that first whiff. It's got kind of like a candy caramel, dark, it's like candy caramel and like chocolate met each other. I feel like when you think of Belgian, you think of lighter colored beers, but when you, when you think of Belgian strong ales, they're gonna be a little darker and take on. Cheers. Mmm. I like to make sound effects when I taste it. I think it helps open up my palate. I'm definitely still getting that caramelized malt and the lemon zest is not there that I got on the nose. And I feel like most Belgians, like triples, they do have that lemon finish, but there's none of that in this. And you can't taste the alcohol, they really mask it well. It does not taste like this is 10%. That's why I love Belgians, you can just drink them up. It's like the Everclear of beers. Don't taste anything. Get good and buzzed. I think it's come to that time. I'm gonna give it probably. I'm gonna give it a 3.5 beer cheer. I don't want to make it look like I'm a hard ass, but really, it's it's between 3.5 and 4. Hoping you guys got to taste this delicious beer. If you haven't yet, go get one. I definitely recommend sharing it with friends since it is kind of hot on the alcohol. You guys can both get a little tipsy, start seeing pink elephants, have an awesome time, and until next time, Merry Christmas, everyone, and cheers to Belgium and their delicious beer. Everclear's like uh, rubbing alcohol. It tastes horrible. No, you can't taste it when you put it in mixed drinks. Really? Yeah, you know, like, okay. you ever had a jungle juice? I just remember having Everclear as a kid and I thought it was... We'll look it up strong. after this, but okay. I remember having jungle juice and you can't taste it. You just taste the juice. Okay.